soul in his face. He's playing soul chords right now. Look at their advertisement. Look at that afro. Lo love the marketing there. Woo! Sure microphones. I got a panel. I'll see if I can get it on uh, tape so you guys can see. On tape. It's still 1996. That's where I'll be sitting. In the middle, Taylor Gordon. And next to me, Paul Davids. Taylor, how about you? I also went to Berklee College of Music in Boston, Massachusetts. Um, I graduated in 2011 uh, with a degree in music. What was my degree in? My degree was in professional music. Um, I, you know, that school opened me up a lot. I'm a country girl, I'm from New Orleans. So uh, I didn't know a lot about different genres and uh, different playing styles. So I just kind of came in very new, very wet behind the ears. Um, I mainly chose to go to Berkeley just so that I could learn more about production and songwriting, mixing, all the things that weren't available to me where I was. Um, and uh, I actually planned to stop playing drums after I graduated. That was actually my thing. I was like, put the drums away and start doing production. But uh, I started doing that for a while. And uh, I found out that it was not as gratifying as I thought it would be. I wanted to be a producer. And uh, I wasn't happy with what I was doing. So I started touring. And uh, I also found that I wasn't as happy as I wanted to be because I was always all over the place and tired. I like to sleep a lot. So um, I randomly started posting YouTube videos and um, Instagram videos and they became popular and gave me a chance to be able to reach people with my art, and my music, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna be quiet now. <laughs> how, about, how do you go about making your videos and what do you use? This is still on. Okay, great. Uh, the first, or all of my videos so far, have been recorded with that thing down there. I prop it on top of a laptop and uh, put it at an angle that makes my face look very attractive. <laughs> and then I play from that angle. That's literally what I do. Uh, for like a while, like for like a year at least, I was just using the raw audio from my iPhone camera and just syncing it with uh, whatever song I was covering and iMovie. I'm not like a techie, like honestly, like I don't really know a lot about technology, I'm be real. So I just try to make it as easy on myself as possible so that I can be as creative as possible. So uh, it wasn't until like um, last year that I started using an interface and liking the whole thing and maybe doing some upgrades like getting a Ikea light that's all chopped up behind the laptop and it's like right there to put like a little glow on my face to make my face look even better. So. That's really the, the only upgrade I've made so far, but I do plan on uh, getting more angles this year. That is, that's a call for everyone who watches me. That's, that's really it. Um, yeah, I write down ideas as well, as far as like what I think would be interesting for people to watch, and uh, I remember to look into the camera, because that makes people happy. Yeah, and you do a really personal job of that. The one thing I'm fascinated, fascinated by with your setup is like, what's behind the camera? Where do you shoot? What, is it a studio? Oh uh, yeah, it's a rehearsal space in North Hollywood. Okay. People have said it looks like an elevator, which makes me laugh. You know, because why would I set up a dress in an elevator? And, like, I don't know. But you need you need to you need to uh, do that. Just yeah. like go. I need to do this. Is how I make a video. Like, go inside the elevator. Yeah. I yeah. think that would be a viral video. Don't let's you say? let's like, do I that, that now, right now. Let's just book out a hotel because of the elevator. Yeah. Later though. But yeah. Um, behind the camera is my laptop. Like I'm recording in Logic Pro. 
and I'm gonna have my whole channel bus thing, bus channel auxiliary. You see, like, I don't know. I have that sitting there, and then I'm looking over at that, making sure I'm recording, because there's been a bunch of times where I've recorded videos and I wasn't recording. And so, I was really upset. So, I really look over there for that. But people think I'm looking into the camera to be like, oh, hey, hey. But I'm making sure, honestly, that I'm still, like, it's still on. That's how I wanted it to look. I was like, oh, I'm going to wear this. I want this angle. I want smoke. I want all of this stuff, you know? And because I didn't have it, it just made me feel like, oh, well, I can't do it yet. But it wound up happening in a different way than I ever expected, and it happened better. Like, just doing it organically. So don't let gear hold you up. Like, just keep going as you go, as you progress. Allow your audience to progress with you and grow with you. Tell us some embarrassing stories. I mean, there's so many, honestly. Like, um, so many people look at my videos and they, uh, they wonder, like, oh man, she's like so clean and so good. They don't realize that I've like played that same thing about 50 times. And in each take, I'm like cursing at the end because I, I just keep messing it up, you know? And then there's some times where you can really tell. There's a couple of them where I'm like rolling my eyes at the beginning or I'm just like, oh, I'm so tired. And then, you know, but it, it does take that long. I've had some um, where I was wearing something that just wasn't complimenting me very well. I was like, this is like sticking out. And I had that like mushroom top effect or whatever, where that thing is like, the stomach's over the thing. And I was like, I'm not, I'm not posting that, you know? So that muffin top, did you say? You know, like when, when you <laughs> wear too tight pants and then <laughs> your yeah, that's really to me thing, yeah. like, like that was not cool. I, uh, so <laughs> I didn't post it. I redid the video. Like that happened so much. Latin groove on drums. Is that the video you were talking about where your dad forced you to? Yeah. 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 What was that filmed on? I don't really know. I don't remember. I feel like it was on, like, he was so excited about this, like, you remember those phones that you flip out and you, like, do that and it had, like, a little camera with the pixels? Like, I look like a pixely Mario character in the, in the video. Yeah, so again, I'm taping in between all of the different stops that I'm, that are happening. I'm getting stopped by people. But, uh, I'm talking to y'all in between when that happens. Um, I like that it's quiet over here. Oh, another thing. I'm guessing the noise ordinance. You remember last year I vlogged about how, you know, the guy, I was playing uh, some drums and the guy stopped me and was like, hey, the noise police has been crazy this year. I guess they don't exist this year. <laughs> I have found Fender. And I want to lock down a Fender deal this year. You know, last year I was trying to find a baby kick drum. I found my baby kick drums. I found all the kick drums and snare drums and everything I need. Now I need guitars, baby. Now I need keys. I need stuff, you know? I need things. I need these things. Q. Q. Yo, what's up? How you doing? I'm good. How you doing? Good to see you. Moya! How you doing? Yeah, I didn't want to be up in there just recording our conversations, but yeah, I just... Met up with my homegirl Moya over at Fender. We're gonna have a meeting soon to talk about things. So things are in um, rotation. Or what's that thing? They they spinning. The wheel is spinning. Now what I'm about to go do is I'm about to go stop by where all these like VST people are. You know, uh, that sounds like a disease or something. VSTs are virtual. Uh, I don't know what uh, the S and the T stand for, but they're virtual instruments. I'm trying to get more of those this year, you know what I'm saying? Because I got to get my sound game on lock. It used to be on lock, but I lost all my sounds. That ain't happening this year, so. But we doing that today. It's this easy now? This is how we do it? Oh, don't make me make a song up in here. Oh. It's about to get crazy up in here, huh? Look at the granddad they got up in the thing. He wearing a truck hat, bling bling. I can't rap, I'm not a rapper, don't get it twisted. I'm a drummer, don't get, I don't, I can't rap, it's all good, whatever. You know what I'm saying, I be bling. Oh, I can't make things rhyme, I'm out of time. 99 was a good year. Have no fear, I'm back like crack on the streets. I'm sorry, yeah, I'm gonna stop now. Thank you! Thank you! <laughs> oh, I don't 
don't know the song that well. This sounds good. On these speakers, what is this? This is banging on these speakers though. This only hit me like this before. What is this? This is the answer to all your wishes and dreams. Okay. This is extract stems by audio dynamics. Okay. It's a standalone application. What you can do is just drag the song into it, hit a button, it'll go to our servers and come back to you as three separate stems vocals, music, and the drums. <laughs> so I'm a beat maker. Uh -huh. So a lot of times, you know, I have a catalog of drums and samples I usually use. Yeah. It's kind of, when you have the same stuff all the time, it's kind of hard to get inspired, right? Uh -huh. So maybe I want to get some new drums, right? Uh -huh. So what I did here, I took, um, of all songs, I took uh, Nirvana's Come As You Are. Mm -hmm. So here's a whole mix of the song right here. Okay. So I dropped it into the program, uh -huh. let it do its thing, split it into three. So now I got right here, I got vocals. Wait, wait, wait. It does it for me. I cannot do it. We got a drum step. And everything else is right here. Alright. So that's simple. All I did was drag and drop and hit one button. Right? So that's all I wanted from this for this particular project was to get some drums. To get hard to get a metallic gun. like the guitars right there, right? But, I don't want those to play with mine. Uh -huh. so I'm just going to take them out. <laughs> so your sister got that information, because uh, I'm going to need that, okay? I'm going to need that. Look, look who I did. Yeah. Look who I did, right? And so I didn't ran into my woke. What? What's good? So here we have, what's your name? Tony. Tony. And he's showing me this crazy ass EQ right now. This is a crazy EQ. All right, tell me, how you doing? So it's a uh, smart EQ to your song. Uh, so use AI technology to do the EQing for you pretty much. Uh -huh. um, I'll just run it. So you can kind of hear it. The damn show's a little loud. Yeah. It's like 2019. But uh, we're going to try and see if we can hear it. Basically, it's probably hard for you to hear it. It analyzes the drum for you, okay? It tells you what frequencies work best with what you have imported, okay? My whole thing is making life easier, and, and this seems like something that'll really make my job way more easy. Why don't you say, Tony? Yes. I think so. Faster and easier. It's, it sounds like I need to talk to them, for real. Ugh. I just want to stop and take a break and talk to you all. Uh, it's been quite difficult this year to vlog the way I wanted to because, um, yeah, it's, it's been hectic. I've been like running around, I've been doing panels, I've been doing demos, and it just, and it just hasn't allowed me the amount of time that I would like to just really uh, catch everything on camera like how I would want to and how I did last year. So. It's been a little bit different. I'm adjusting. Uh, bear with me. I caught what I could on camera this time, but it's been absolutely amazing connecting with my fans. Um, if anything, it's been very humbling. This whole thing of like seeing and meeting the people that I am inspiring and motivating, and uh, you know that love my content. It's it's given me new fire. So I just want to say thank you. Thank you for uh, sticking with me. 
and growing with me. And I think we have a very, very fun ride ahead of us, y'all. This is only the beginning. So enjoy. I think that's it for now. Happy Queen out.